Hello everyone and welcome to TYT Sports. Ben Mankiewicz is back once again. He had a brief hiatus from this show. He was in Atlanta. The hell happened to you? I thought you didn't exist for a while. Pleasure to know you're alive. We got killed in softball without the, your services and whatnot. We didn't score. We did not score. I batted one time in five innings. Uh, it was bad. Uh, I got the lone hit in the game. Did we get a guy to third base? Nope. Jesus Christ, it's slow pitch softball. It's the D-League slow pitch softball. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah. I tried extending a single to a double. We were chasing five. I was clearly safe. Everyone thought I was safe. Uh, apparently, I was thrown out, according to the umpire. So we only had one hit? Technically, yeah. I had the lone hit, and I was out at second base. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, so thanks for leaving us. Yeah. Uh, glad you're back, though. So here we go. Wichita State played Kentucky in arguably one of the best college basketball games I personally have ever seen. Last year's national championship game with Michigan and Louisville was pretty good. Xavier, uh, who did they play? Kansas State a few years back. I believe that was 2010. The three-point barrage with uh, two Holloway, Trey Holloway, Jordan Crawford, and whatnot. That was great. But this was probably one of the best, and it also had the best dunk of the tournament. So let's see Clee Anthony early, then we'll come back and discuss. This match and not able to take advantage. Oh! oh he does, My goodness! Fan I loved it. Uh, Clee Anthony early showing me a lot, not only from last tournament, but this tournament. And Wichita State unfortunately lost the game. Kentucky is hated, obviously, one of the most historic programs in college basketball history, but Wichita State. There was this resounding feeling, and me included, when the one seed went down and you felt bad for the one seed. Yeah, sure, because it's Wichita State, and they had a perfect year. Came in, what, 35-0 and 0 or 34-0? 34-0. So they come in at, at having the first team to win that many games. I thought they were 35, but whatever it is, they, they, they come in with this uh, on this historic streak, and they got screwed on seeding. They just did. I mean, nobody who watches... The, the, the NCAA selection show, the committee is always talking about, they talk about a lot of factors. Well, they talk and, about the snubs and like but, I mean, the, but I mean, they talk about the eye test and nobody looks at Kentucky and thinks that that's, the eight seed means they were 29 through 32. They were the 29th, 30th, 31st, or 32nd best team in the country. And that's horseshit. It just is. So they had no business being, you know, that's a five seed, even with their year because you know, Nate Silver, who uh, you pay a lot of, I paid a lot of attention to this year with his, for his algorithm about how the likelihood of victory is for each team. He's mm -hmm. got a percentage assigned to each team. You can relate that to a point spread and you could bet accordingly. And by the way, if you were doing that, you would be winning money at this yeah. point. Yeah. Is that how accurate he's been? Yeah, I mean, you look for where he has the spread at two and the spread is four, where there's enough of one and a half or two point difference. That just gives you an edge. It doesn't sure. mean in a small sure. sample size you're guaranteed to win that some team could win that game by 18, and who cares whether it's two or four. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, he's been pretty good using, using that formula. Um, and, of course, when you look at a team that's a 71% chance of winning, uh, that means three out of every ten times the other team's going to win, so it's not like the, most, not the most shocking upset in the history sure. of the world. So... Um, uh, but at any rate, uh, Kentucky had no business being uh, an eight seed. That's just it's just wrong. Would you say that they were more underseeded than Louisville at a four? Louisville, at least you, yes, I think they're more underseeded really? because eight is more dramatic than four. And Louisville, Louisville's out of conference wins were non-existent, and that conference wasn't that good. So Louisville's run. Uh, didn't impress the com what didn't impress the committee were 60 point victories in the tournament. Like they're like, hey man, I don't care if you win by 18 or 60, you blew them out. That's mm -hmm. all they care about. Yeah. So where a fan would see Louisville and think, Jesus, they just beat Rutgers 92 to 31, yeah. you know, and then they and not and they win the next game and they but they beat Houston I think in the next game because Houston knocked essentially SMU out of the NCAA's. Yeah. So they weren't those wins don't mean anything, right? And Louisville's. The, the Louisville's significant wins weren't all that impressive. I think they were underseeded. I think they were clearly, a lot of people thought they were in the conversation for a one seed. After listening to those, I thought they were in the conversation for a one seed, but after hearing those arguments, I thought that's a two, right. maybe a three, right. maybe a, the, the highest three. Mm -hmm. So four is bad, but Kentucky might, be, might have been seeded three spots off. You know, but we fall in love, we pay attention to the polls, they dropped out of the polls, they lost a lot of games. Yeah, they did. But, you know, I, I think that that was clearly 
that is, you know, they, they, they damn near beat Florida in the tournament. Look, they're not as good as Florida, but I mean, I'm saying, look, that's a five seed or a six seed. Most importantly, you want to protect the number one seeds. They changed this seeding. This, the idea of the seeding system is the number one seed. Not only, not only do you get a number one, but even if you've got to get moved out of your region, that first two game pod is going to be near where you play. We've, we've made an effort to protect the number one seeds as much as possible. Sure. I would say part of that protection should be, hey, don't give them Kentucky in the game two. Oh. You know, the 8-9 game is supposed to be, uh, you know, Arizona just beat, what was it, Gonzaga beat Oklahoma State. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the second <laughs> there round. There you go. That's the second round <laughs> game for you. I must say, look, Oklahoma State, which I thought would beat Gonzaga because Marcus Smart was bat back and playing so well, any team with Marcus Smart is a tough game. That yeah. would have been a tough out for Arizona State. Well, it's State. one NBA prospect compared to and, probably none guy. on Gonzaga. Unless right, it's but like it's a guy who has the pick. ball. 97% of the time, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. I mean, it's a particular NBA prospect. Sure. And so that made them a tough team to beat. So, but Kentucky was the number, the team was ranked number one to start the season and, and Wichita State goes 35-0 and 0, and you're like, and then we got to, well, we got to play Kentucky? What are you doing? And then you would have had to potentially play Louisville. It was incredibly underseated as well. Louisville underseated. When it, it gets to the Sweet 16, I'm like, you're going to play. It's a more fair game. And so, presuming that, a, that, that the top seeds advance, the Sweet 16 game is, is going to be a hard game. Right. At, at, but the second round game, that was a very tough situation for Wichita State. So you're obviously pissed at the <coughs> committee for doing what they did and putting Wichita in a tough spot. I'm pissed. I think they made a mistake here. Yeah.